Super Base Launch Week 5 starts on Monday the 15th of August. Here's some highlights from Launch Week 4 to get you in the mood. All right. Do you want to tell us a little bit how that GitHub Secret Scanning works? Yeah. Um, so, hi, I'm Miriam. I'm the product manager for GitHub Secret Scanning. So, GitHub Secret Scanning protects users by searching repositories for known types of secrets. So, we identify and flag any leaked secrets that we find in code to protect users from any data leaks and you know any fraud associated with that exposed data. So what that means is with our new partnership with Supabase, for example, we now scan all public repos on GitHub for Supabase keys. So imagine that I'm a developer and I'm using a Supabase API key and I accidentally leak that into my code, which you know it happens, we're all human. Well, GitHub almost immediately finds that exposure, sends it to Supabase, and Supabase then revokes the key and emails the user to let them know that, you know, their secret was leaked and now they are protected. So together, we're really helping to um, protect our mutual users and help secure the world software together. Now, we have uh, a couple of updates as well. So uh, we have Postgres. Uh, which is uh, one of the fantastic open source tools that Superbase is uh, built on. And um, as you know, that is kind of what generates your REST API on top of your Postgres database. And we have uh, a great pre-release here that is already uh, available on the Superbase platform. Then we also have some new OAuth uh, providers. Very exciting. You can now uh, sign in folks with Notion, Zoom, uh, WorkOS, and Keycloak. Uh, so these are all um, open source community contributions. So that is uh, really, really nice that, you know, someone will want to use this. And uh, when there's one person who wants to use it, they, you know, add it, they make a PR and uh, it is then becomes available for everyone to use. Then also uh, we have new uh, Superbase auth helpers that we have worked on. So we have heard you um authentication, especially when doing server-side rendering, um, is difficult and keeping everything in sync, refreshing tokens. So we have started what we call uh, the Superbase Auth Helpers. They are framework-specific um, helpers, and we're starting these with uh, Next.js. So these are now uh, available, and you can you can test them out. Uh, and we're also working on um, Svelte Kit uh, helpers there, as well as Remix. Uh, so that is coming uh, soon. And then the good folks at Nuxt have um, actually done kind of a, a similar helper integration, but directly within uh, the Nuxt Labs uh, repositories, and they will talk about that in a bit. But uh, now we have uh, Lee here with us from the uh, Vercel team, and we've worked uh, with Vercel very closely. It's it's a great experience building with Next.js and um, Superbase, and he's actually going to talk a little bit about the Vercel integration and maybe some examples that you can look at. Hey everyone, I'm Lee. I'm the Director of Developer Relations at Vercel. And I'm really excited to join today and talk a little bit more about how Superbase and Next.js pair together. What I'm really excited to share is that we've been working with the Superbase team and the Stripe team to make this starter kit that enables people to get started really fast with Next.js and Superbase and just kind of gives you a pre-configured application out of the box to get started and it uses those new auth helpers that Thor was just talking about. So that is now available uh, for anyone to try out. Some people who have been testing it out early have been able to give us some feedback. Uh, so you can go to the Vercel GitHub repo. I'll include some links, um, but it's subscription-payments.vercel.app. And you can see this nice demo of connecting your Next.js, Vercel, Superbase, and Stripe accounts. And I also want to mention that I just released a new video today on using Superbase to make this image gallery. And it's a nice walkthrough of all of the great functionality in the Superbase dashboard. So, yeah. uh, Next, we're going to go from next to next. Hello, everyone. Today, I have five minutes to show you how to use Superbase with Next3. I'm Sebastian Chopin. I'm the CEO at Next Labs and co-author of Next. And you can find me on the social network with Atinux. 
We build the Superbase module with Baptiste LePro, who is a lead dev at Nux Labs, and same you can find him on the social network with Baptiste LePro. The Superbase module is only a dependency away to your Next app. It is based on Vue 3 composables. It has authentication support. It uses under the hood the Superbase JS isomorphic client. Obviously, it has TypeScript support. And this is how you can install it into your Next 3 app. The composables are quite simple and it opens a reactive way to connect to Superbase. You can have the authenticated user with use Superbase user and the client with the use Superbase client. Let's code. First of all, you need a Superbase project. I created one for this demo and it has a tasks table with a title, a completed, which is a Boolean and a user ID. Next, what you need to do is to add a GitHub application or auth application that I created with the localhost 3000 and the authorization callback. Now let's go to our next three application that I already started in development. I added the Superbase module and enabled it in the build module. In order to activate it properly, I also added the Superbase URL and Superbase key on the element variables. And now let's see our app.view, which is the root component. And we can see we have the index page with a login button. So far, it does nothing. So let's add the login. For this, I'm getting the client from use Superbase client. And on on click, I will do client.out.signin. We do have the completion from TypeScript, which is nice. And let's see what it does. We can see the logout at the top, which show that it actually works. So we can get the user this way. So let's get our user, use Superbase user. And I'm going to use watch effect to see when the user is changing. So when it's connected, I will use the router to push to use router to the task page. Great. So now it works. Let's log in again and I'm redirected. Great. Next, let's go to the tasks page. And first of all, we want to prevent the guest from accessing this page. I created a Nux middleware that will check if the user is connected. And if not, it will redu be redirected to the home page. So on this, I can set the middleware by setting define page meta and setting the middleware to out. So let's log out, trying to access the task page and I'm re redirected to the home page. Now, last to do, let's fetch our task from Superbase. For this, I'm going to use use async data, which allow me to have the hydration and only fetch one on the server side. Async function. And I'm going to client from tasks. user user.value.id and let's sort it by created at let's console.log our data dot value and what do we have here is actually an object with the error data so using sync data has a transform where we can say only return the body here Let's refresh and we can see we have our IT or tasks. Let's rename this. And we do have our task now and it works great. You can find the documentation of the module on superbase.nuxjs.org. Thank you very much. And next we have the uh, open source spotlight, which is um, charm. 
charm.sh. Now, charm aims to make uh, the command line glamorous. And we're, we've started using uh, charm in the Superbase CLI. And there's some major updates coming the CLI throughout uh, the week. And so we're very excited to use more of uh, the charm features. So Glow is our most popular application, and its role is to render markdown files in the terminal. It, it can be run in a directory, and it will recursively search all child directories for markdown files and allow you to view all of the results in a list. You can stash important markdown files so you can find them wherever you run Glow. Your stash files are also safe to Charm Cloud so you can access your stashed files across different machines. Next up is SoftServe. So SoftServe allows you to self-host Git repositories and provides a TUI for you to navigate the commits, branches, documentation, and code with a TUI, all from the command line and over SSH. You can see a live preview of SoftServe in action by running ssh git.charm.sh in any terminal. Next up is Melt. Melt is the latest product that we've just released. And Melt allows you to backup and restore your private SSH keys from seed phrases. So if you're managing SSH keys on behalf of another person, you would be able to communicate this seed phrase to them over the phone to allow them to restore their private SSH keys. If you have any questions or you'd like to reach out to us, we would love to hear from you. You can do so over Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or feel free to open up a discussion on GitHub. We'd love to hear your thoughts, ideas, and just overall what you think. Um, with us as well as um, JC and Toby from the Charm team, uh, do you quickly want to introduce yourselves and uh, maybe you can uh, give us a little workshop in you know how we can make the CLI even better? I think currently we only use uh, Bubble Tea very sparsingly throughout but i think we're, we're excited to improve that even further cool um sure i'll go first i'm the co-founder of charm toby um and so yeah we built a ton of stuff as vast as has gone over right and so some of that is front-end facing some of it is back-end facing um there's a lot of account identity management stuff there's a lot of ssh stuff and so i think um the supple based cli is using bubble tea um, in parts to do like spinners and just make the the experience a little richer when you're interacting with it over the command line. Um, and so we were really excited when we saw that, right? Like we we go to GitHub and we look at the dependencies for Bubble Tea. We do this like every day when we wake up. Hey, what new stuff has been built with Bubble Tea? And we're like, oh, stuff with base CLI. That's super amazing. And so I know we've been in contact with your lead dev. They're just offering any support. Um, so if anyone else wants to build with this, like, first of all, um, learn Go, because that's a, that's a cool thing to do, and we'll help you do that. Um, but also come into our Slack if you need some help, and we can sort of, like, walk you through some stuff there. So um, HTTPS slash charm.sh slash Slack, and you'll get an invite to join us there. Um, and then we can just work on, on tutorials or whatever. And if you build anything with any of our libraries, let us know, and then we'll promote it, because we're big on just building out the, the community and just really making the command line a new platform for, for everybody to build on. I mean, it's been one, but we want to really take it to the next level. Yeah, I can, I can tell you it's very easy to reach out. Uh, I just dropped into the Slack. I was like, hey, you do cool stuff, open source. We love open source. We do open source. Let's do something together. And I think after this launch week, we probably should should get together, maybe do a live stream of like actually digging into uh, the Stripe CLI code uh, and, and seeing where we can uh, improve things. Um, I don't know if that's, I know, Bash, you do uh, a bunch of live streaming. So maybe that's something we can we can do uh, once we all uh, caught up on sleep from, from launch week. <laughs> all right, I'll go next. Hi, everyone. I'm Julie Zhang. Team calls me Jay-Z for short. Makes it easier to remember. Um, very nice to meet you. I run kind of all things biz at Charm. And uh, we have a whole bunch of open source tools, libraries, apps that Bash has kindly explained. We are now also thinking about building that out with teams, including Superbase and, and those folks that want to work with us. And very recently, you know, GitHub has been using us as in their official clients, which is super exciting, as well as a whole bunch who are active in the open source space. So if you do are thinking about something working with our tools, please reach out. I'll keep it short and sweet. Bash, off to you. 
Hey everyone. Um, my name is Bash Bunny. So I do dev developer relations at Charm. Um, I'm basically working on building out the documentation examples. I build in public uh, some of my work at Charm. I will share that like live. Um, also, we've been creating content for YouTube, so different demos and stuff like that, and expanding our audience to Instagram as well, which is kind of new in the developer space. So yeah, just kind of ex experimenting with that and having fun with uh, getting creative with video editing and doing a lot of really cool stuff, um, basically bringing, bringing the command line, you know, to the forefront of people's minds and trying to make it, uh, trying to, trying to make people excited about, you know, logging in and getting hacking, you know? All right. Thanks so much for, for joining us. And, uh, yes, we'll definitely follow up with, with more content around the CLI and, uh, charm. Thanks Thank so you much. for having us. Thank yeah. You. Thank you. All righty, and we're continuing with uh, the learning theme, and we have uh, a bunch of great new learning resources. Uh, and first coming up, we have uh, Mike from the Ionic team giving us uh, some intro to uh, the quick start guides he has uh, added uh, with uh, Angular, React, and uh, much more. And so we're going to switch over to um, Mike now. Hi everyone, um, Mike, uh, I'm from Ionic. I do a lot of dev rally stuff. Um, we are going to take a quick look at some of the new updated guides that uh, have recently been added. Uh, so we've gone through and basically rebuilt the Ionic, uh, the Angular, React, and Vue guides that have already existed uh, inside of the Supabase docs. Uh, we have just reworked them to feel um, uh, more at home for the Ionic user. So not only are they going to look like a pretty good Ionic app, but they're going to uh, be able to offer up some of the native functionality that Ionic apps uh, get. So for instance, if we were to come over here, uh, we have the app running right now. Uh, let's go ahead and just change this to M Hardington update profile. We'll get some nice uh, UI notifications as everything gets updated. We can check out that all of this is you know just using some standard ionic components but using your framework of choices uh way of binding everything up where it becomes really interesting and quite compelling is when we start to do some of the native features now the original docs were using a file to upload the um new avatars uh, but if we're going to be deploying as a progressive web app native ios or native android why not just use the camera so let's try this say or allow it to use a camera yes let's just say and there we go my face looks super overexposed lovely we'll save it and we'll update everything so now we can deploy this to uh ios device android device or to whatever hosting provider you want to use and you're going to have this same app up and running so definitely take a look at it we have the ionic angular uh react and Vue, as well as dedicated uh, repos that have all the source code for the final app inside of it. So there. check it out. Amy, I was thinking, I really want to learn about SvelteKit and Superbase. Hmm. Well, James, I've got the perfect app that you can use to learn. It's called the Holler Dollar. <laughs> That sounds really cool. Uh, you know what? We should build that together and turn it into a course. And that's exactly what we're doing. So what's up, everyone? My name is James Hugh Quick. I'm a staff developer advocate at PlanetScale and co-host of the Compressed FM podcast. My name is Amy Dutton, and I'm the director of design at Zeal. We've rehearsed that part many times on our podcast, <laughs> but we are working on the Everything's Felt course. Uh, this is really exciting for us because it uses a bunch of the technologies uh, that we are both really excited about. So, uh, one, you should check out the website because it's one of the most amazing landing pages ever. Shout out to Amy. Uh, but this is working with, as you said, as we said, SvelteKit and Superbase. We'll integrate, integrate Stripe for payments, for creating invoices. We'll have GitHub Actions, all sorts of really cool features, including using Tailwind for our styling. 
The course will also feature testing using Cypress and visual regression testing using Percy. And then we've also included some bonus designs within Figma. So once you've gone through the course and you want to apply the knowledge that you've learned, you can extend the app beyond the course itself. This is going to be the biggest thing that we have done together. We've been working on this for a few months and are planning on launching either late April or early May. So keep an eye out for that. But Amy had the bright idea of going ahead and opening pre-sales for the course uh, right now. So pre-sales are actually available for Everything Svelte. If you head to everythingsvelte.com, do it just to check out the website. Uh, and then down at the bottom, you'll have the pricing. This is 40% off of the final sale for now. Actually, this is the old page. Sorry, I didn't refresh the page. Now is the discount. <laughs> uh, we'll have like slashed out with uh, percentages and stuff. But there's the early access or early uh, pre-orders that you can uh, sign up for now. We'll send you emails when everything is ready and content along the way. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Uh, my name is Scott Talinsky. I am the creator of Level Up Tutorials, as well as the co-host of Syntax.fm, which is a really popular web development podcast where we talk about all kinds of stuff. And we're usually covering a lot of the latest tech. And this new tutorial series that we have coming out on Level Up Tutorials is really the latest tech. So John has put together an incredible course for us on Supabase using Remix to build a real-time chat application. And this even covers things like authenticating a user on the server. Now, Remix is a platform that makes it really super easy to have an amazing user experience while keeping web fundamentals in browser APIs uh, at the forefront of everything you're doing while being able to write your application using your React tools that you know and love. So because of that, uh, this new course with uh, John here is going to be an incredible way for you to get a handle on a ton of things. One, uh, you'll get to use Remix, which is an incredible experience. Two, you're going to get to use authentication within a React and Supabase environment. Uh, you will also get to experiment with real time, which honestly, real time is one of those things that is just a ton of fun. So we'll offer a coupon if you're interested. You could head on over to leveluptutorials.com. You can use the coupon SUPA, S-U-P-A, and you can get 30% off of the already discounted yearly subscription to Level Up Tutorials. What we do is re we release a new course every single month on Level Up Tutorials, and we've been doing a lot of Svelte content, a lot of React content, Remix content, and soon to be a lot of super based content. So uh, just John has put together some amazing course for us. So give uh, Level Up Tutorials a check and uh, sign up today to become a pro and you'll get access to this amazing course from John. Uh, one thing that we have uh, just released is the Superbase Partner Gallery. Now, because a lot of, uh, we're, we're very lucky, um, a lot of uh, folks like working with uh, Superbase. And so the Superbase Partner Gallery uh, gives you a collection of uh, tools, you know, maybe around authentication, developer tools, uh, or you know, low code, no code tools that allow you to build with Superbase um, using various different integrations and tooling. If you have any ideas for uh, someone who has a great integration or would make a, a great expert, uh, do feel free to um, link them to it and uh, become a partner here. Thank you and have a good day, good night, wherever you are. Bye-bye. Launch week five starts on 15th of August. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss a moment.